Okay, what up, y'all? What up, y'all? This your boy LC the One, baby. LC the One reaction, you did. We back with the sports rundown show, so let's get the intro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Ah, 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 ah. Yeah. Hey, what up, y'all? This your boy LC the One, baby. LC the One reacts, man. We back. We back again, man, with another episode, man, of the Sports Rundown Show, man. And I got my nose right here, man, for this game right here, which was a very incredible game. Um, the Clippers versus the Cleveland Cavaliers. The Cavaliers, the visiting team on the road, comes in to L.A., man, and made it a hell of a damn impressive damn performance from both ball clubs. I can say that right now. They played they. I want to keep this PG-13. Shout out to PG-13. They played their butts off, man. This was a good game. This was a very skilled game. Okay, mind you that. Okay? And I think this was the game of the night. Okay. So, with that being said, man, we're going to get right into the game-changing moments. Okay? Um, I'm not going to tell y'all who won this game, but y'all just got to keep on watching all the way to the end of the video. And if y'all new, man, please subscribe to the channel. And turn the notification bell button on, man, so y'all can get more exclusive, exclusive updates, man, on this uh, game chat. What was this? No schedule games? Bro. They don't have no games on tonight, I don't think. No games on tonight. But uh, this was, I think this was Monday night's game, I think. Hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. I want to make sure I get this right for y'all. Yeah, this was Monday night's game because there's no games. Uh, there was no games uh, Tuesday. And Wednesday, today, it's some games kicking off. A lot of games. But anyway, um, yeah, this was a hell of a damn good game, man. I had to highlight this game, man, because this is what it's all about. And as y'all know, the, the, the Cleveland Cavaliers, they've been having a great season all the way so far. Uh, starting the season off, they was 8-0, and, and they just suffered uh, one loss. And now, uh, I ain't going to tell y'all what happened at the end. But anyway, let's get to the first game changer moment, man. It came within uh, 10 minutes and 41 seconds into the first quarter. Uh, the Cavs, they was up by four points. They started the game off pretty good. Nice little possession, couple possessions. They came down, and it was quick, fast, how they scored. And uh, Reggie Jackson brings the ball up, okay? And it was a, a missed pass, uh, a miscalculation or something, but the ball hit the, the backboard, and it led to a fast break. And an alley -oop dunk for Donovan Mitchell. Okay, this was like a real life type of all star type of game because of the talent that they have on both team on both teams. And let me tell you, Don Mitchell showed out. Terrence Mann showed out, and uh, Mobley he was showing out, and uh, 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 who else was showing out uh, all that night? Uh, it was a few of them, like I just said. Okay, but anyway, that was the first game. We got the timestamp right here, so let's get to it, man, and analyze this play so y'all can understand exactly what went down. So, like I said, Reggie Jackson was bringing the ball up, okay? Um, he was bringing the ball up. Y'all see Reggie right here, and as y'all know, he is one of the point guards on this team, but now they have reduced his role, well, changed his role to um, him being like a facilitator shooting guard slash the forward type of a person, okay? So, Reggie bring it up, got him right here. Uh, I don't think he was calling for no screen or anything like that because that's, that's Zubak right there. So, uh, he came down a little bit and he threw the ball. I guess it was a miscalculation for out of you, but something like that. And uh, it, it went hit off the backboard and one of the Cavs picked it up and it led to a fast break. Garner came down and threw a oop, I believe, to uh, Don Mitchell. And he went up and that just set the tone for a while. And they established their momentum because they was able to keep this lead. All the way going, like I think it's like the second quarter. So let's take a look at this play real quick and see how it all developed. Okay, he tried to throw. He tried to throw a half court pass to someone. I don't know who it was, but it just hit off the backboard. Okay, I think Jerry Allen recovered the ball. Okay, and then it quickly ignited a fast break. You see, Don Mitchell was a touch pass from Jerry Allen 
to Don Mitchell, and Don Mitchell outletted it over with passes over to Garland, and they got they sprinted down the court. As you know, they got them backpedaling. They got uh, Reggie backpedaling, and Zubak is not fast enough to keep up with these guys. So let's see how it ends up. Okay. Uh, incredible, man. A leaper that this guy is. So let's take it back, man, so y'all can see this in its full entirety. It was a breakdown. It was a miscommunication. That's what happened uh, with this play uh, with Reggie Jackson uh, as it clicked off the back of the uh, board. Okay, so here we go. Right here, Reggie. I don't know if he was looking to pass it. Probably, I think that's to Paul George or somebody. Or he thought Paul George was feeling because look how open he is. Look how open on this area, right? He thought Paul George, I guess, was going to go to the basket for a dunk because nobody is guarding him. He beating this man right here. So that's what I think. He thought it was a lead pass for him to go to the basket. See that? It was a miscalculation because he thought uh, Paul George was going to jump up for Ali but he didn't. And he threw, I guess, a little bit. It was a perfect pass, but he didn't jump up for the Ali Yep, see, it was a live pass and a miscalculation. And then came down. And it led to this live right here, finished dunk. Right there, impressive by Don Mitchell and, and Darius Goff. Okay, let's go to the second game, uh, change of moment. It came within the first quarter also. And this was in, this was like around the last few seconds of the first quarter. It was 18.1 seconds left in the first quarter. Um, at that point, the Cavs, they was up. Still, like I said, they had the momentum all throughout the whole first quarter going to like the second. Uh, it was 34 to 28. Cavs uh, was still maintained the lead after uh, Clippers came back, but Don Mitchell, um, he got switched off on like Luke Kennard, and he, he did the, uh, oh my God, he did the step back move, not the step back, but the cross back move on him, and he, well, he penetrated, and he did the cross back move, and um, uh, hit a three point jumper right there, and that right there just let it. Let, it kicked everything off because at this point, I think that was a kind of like an insult to Paul George because he, in the Rico Hines scrimmages, that's what he did. He was doing that, that cross back move uh, a lot and he brought that back because everybody wasn't doing it. But he crossed back and everybody forgot about it. And I think Don Mitchell was sending a message to him like, I'm him too. I'm here. Okay, because John Waters said he didn't play this game because he played last night and he wasn't able to play this game. Okay. But then George came right back down and does the same thing, okay, to end the court off. It was an incredible sequence. Let's take a look at this right here. This is set the momentum for both teams. They just went back and forth throughout the whole rest of the game, man. It was very incre incredible. So let's go to that time step. It came all the way, all the way down to like 18 seconds left in the first quarter. Uh, this is a, a, the game of the night. This clearly was the game of the night because both of these teams, they did, they did come into it like – uh, even though the Clippers, they was like 5-5 five and five or something like that. And, okay, here we go. Like 18.1 seconds around this mark. Hold on, hold on, hold on. We're getting close. We're getting close. Here we go. That's 16 seconds. So let's take it back. Because it's kind of hard to uh, get the time step on. Okay, we'll take it from right here. Okay? He Don Mitchell. He called up. Uh, I don't know this guy too familiar. I'm not too familiar with this guy. But he comes up, he sets the screen, okay? Is that Kevin Love? I think, no, that ain't Kevin Love. But he come up, he set a screen, okay? He weaved through traffic. Same thing like how Wilson did the, a, a previous night ago. Kind of weaved through the traffic. And when he got over here, they switched off, okay? Because they see Paul George's garden. And it was a switch off. And Luke Kennard, I think he picks up uh, Don Mitchell. And he, that was a mismatch. He instantly, he tried to penetrate the first. Then he just crossed back this way, crossed back this way, and it was over with for the nice speed. That, that cross back move was lethal and deadly, and I forgot all about it until I seen Paul George doing it in the Rico's hand scrimmage. I'm pretty sure a lot of other players too, but I don't know. I think Dwayne Wade started it. Dwayne Wade used to do that all the time, but now the step back is so popular, or the step over move, everybody's doing that. Okay, let's take a look at this sequence, okay? So, Don Mitchell, he calls up. He called up this guy. It was a screen. That's what it was. One to pick and roll. So they, that's what he wanted. That was the initial uh, play was to, to get a switch off to get a mismatch with Luke Kennard. And as y'all see what happened. Okay. It was a it was successful. So once he got over there, step back, boom. Knocked that three shot down. Uh, okay. So let's watch that in its full entirety. I thought that was incredible. And then right shortly after, Paul George comes right down. And he, he 
ISOs on the big man because they got switched off too. I think one of the big one of the big fellas was trying to guard him, and it ended in the same way. So let's take a look at this in full entirety. Okay, now maybe calls up a player, screen, step back, quick, fast, knock down a shot. Okay, and then Paul George, they gives the ball because at this point, you know, they they giving it to the best player on the on, on the floor. And Kawhi Leonard didn't play, mind you, too. So I think if they John Wall and Kawhi was able to go, this probably would have been a different scenario but this was a good damn game because the clippers are definitely here now okay so let's take a look at this um paul george okay okay he trying to they try not they're trying to get as much time as they they can by rolling the ball in to the inbound or inbound the ball by rolling it onto the court to give them enough uh, enough feet you know enough inches so they can get down to the other side okay Okay, so now y'all know Paul George is probably one of the best ISO um, isolation players since Kobe Bryant. Okay, um, and Jason Tatum also. So let's take a look at this. So now he has Kevin Love on him. I think that's Kevin Love, or oh, that's a, that's a, one of the new films. So this is a mismatch. So what would Paul George do? He walks him down. Okay. Okay. Then right there, when he gets him a half court, he immediately starts to, that's the feel handy little technique. Keep it tight and close. See how close he, because he, see how the defender is trying to clamp on him? That's what he's doing. He's clamping on him. But see what he's doing? He's, you know, using that drill technique, that, that ball handling technique, to give him a little bit to try to get some spacing out of this, uh, this possession right here so he can get a shot. Okay, so what would Paul George do? Very incredible, skill wise. Okay. He, okay, so once he crossed him over a few times because he was so tight up on him, then he's that that gave him a little space because he did kind of step back a little bit. And once he stepped back and got a little bit more space, they gave him a little opportunity, gave him free open uh, freeway uh, um, uh, to 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 drive. Okay, so that's what he's gonna do. But then he didn't drive all the way to the basket. He stepped back again and hit the shot. So let's take a look at that. So that did the same thing. So that was like a shot right back, uh, a shot right back to Don Mitchell. Like, hold on, I'm a king now. Watch what you're doing, cuz. Don't disrespect me. Boom. And he knocked down a three point shot. Okay? That was incredible. And I thought that right there was a game changer moment because it kind of led the, it kind of, both teams really uh, had the momentum going into the second quarter because at this point, it was on the popping right here. So you know it was going to be a hell of a good game between the stars. They was going to go back and forth all night long if need be, and that's exactly what happened. It was a great damn, it was a great game. I'm trying to keep it PG-13 while you pee wee 7 and looking at boys out there. But anyway, hold on one second, man. I'm trying to get this video up, man. Um, working hard for y'all, man. The people, okay? Stood up and down. And I got, I be doing a lot, man. I, I be multitasking. And plus, I got to get up out of here and go pick up SJ, my wife, baby. yeah, yeah. Okay, so, yeah. Um, but, um, this was the second game changer moment, man. So now we're about to go to the third game changer moment. Okay. The third game changer moment came within, this was the, the second quarter now. Okay. We in the second quarter at this point, the Cavs, they still got the lead. Like I said, they maintained the lead throughout the whole game. Okay. This was a very skilled game. They were able to maintain this lead and, um, uh, just keep them off balance, but they was they was the the the, uh, the Clippers they was holding their own. Terrence Mann really was initiating a lot of their comeback, okay? Because uh, they they even announcers even said this is a different Terrence Mann, and it is because last year he wasn't playing as good as he's playing now. I think he's gonna be a, a perimeter all star uh, as time progresses along, man. Because and, and turning into a superstar, I can see him on his own team, and I can tell by him being around guys like Kawhi Leonard. And Paul George, they have really um, um, increased his uh, skill set, okay? Because practicing with these great players will um, but do that, okay? So that's what we're, we're seeing now. Okay, but anyway, the third game change when we came with the 9 minutes and 16 seconds left in the third second quarter. Uh, it was a bad inbound pass, okay? Got picked off by Nicholas Baton, okay? It started a fast break, uh, which led to... Uh, Terrence Mann's layup and Clippers took their first lead of the game. Okay, and then man, like I said, he had scored in two previous possessions, which really started everything for their comeback. Okay, because um, 
Um, they needed that extra help, even though Reggie Jackson was helping too, but they needed that extra scoring help that they've been missing because, as you know, John Wall is not there right now. And, of course, uh, Kawhi Leonard, we don't know where the hell he is. Okay, but anyway, let's take a look at this play, man. It came with the 9 minutes and 16 seconds left in the second quarter, okay? Um, quarter was just really kicking off, but like I said, it was going back and forth all night. This was a really good game, man. This was a really good game. Okay, so this was the first, this was the, the, the play before, okay? So I'm trying to just get to that time stamp if I can. I know it's coming right around this mark right there. Okay, so here we go. Uh, like I said, it was a bad inbound play. Uh, I, don't, I don't think, I think this is Moby right here or somebody else. Well, I think he was trying to throw the ball into Moby. And then uh, it got deflected by uh, Powell. Powell deflected the ball. Then Nicholas Baton right here, he got the ball and he pushed it down court. And they was able to give it to Terrence uh, Mann and he laid the ball up. But it was all his, his doing and them coming back. So let's take a look at this play. Okay. So it was an inbound pass to Mobley. It got uh, deflected by Powell, Norman Powell, Nick turned up with the ball, outlets it, great outlet pass to Terrence Man. Terrence Man uses the like the Euro type of style on uh I think that's Don Mitchell. The uses hype was able to Oh, that was on Garland and they was a score. That was on Garland? I didn't know it was on Garland. Yeah, it was on Garland. Okay. That was very impressive. Uh yeah, especially how fast they got down the court. That was good court awareness. Good good way to look up the court by uh, Nicholas Baton to get that pass in. So let's take a look at it one more time. Okay. As y'all can see, they, they're they doing screens and stuff. So it's a pin down move. So it's supposed to be um, Mobley right here, I guess, getting the ball. Because it was a high. I don't know why they would have did that. They should have just used the guard to come around, get the ball, and then set up the post the post play. Cause that's what they, I think that was, that, that's, that's what they was trying to do. They was trying to establish a post uh, play for uh, Mobley. Okay, so here we go. See, it was a high. It was like a like a uh uh because I see the other uh forward over here. So I don't know exactly what type of play they was in, but I wouldn't have did that. I would have just hit him, hit the, the guard, pick up the ball, and set up a half court uh or pick and roll between this player, and he can just isolate and do what he want to do. Okay, but it got deflected by Norton Powell. Okay, make the turn. Get it back. The rest is history, man, man down the court. And man was doing this all night long, man. I'm telling you, he's, he was the game. He was the, the, the player of the game for that night, okay? um, So that was the, the third game changer. Not a fourth game changer moment. Kane within four minutes and 11 seconds left in the second quarter. So let's get to that timestamp real quickly. You dig? Um... I really enjoy doing this, man, giving y'all analysis on this stuff, man, because, you know, everybody don't do stuff like this, okay? Besides, like, the at the real analysts and all that. Uh, but this is interesting to me and how these sequences are, you know, well, these plays are constructed and how they ran. And it's a strategy, period. Okay, so here we go. Can with their four minutes and 11 seconds left in the uh, second quarter, okay? Uh, Cavs, they regained the lead. Now, like I said, they regained the lead. And, um... Uh, but by two points, and Don Mitchell calls um, uh, Allen up for a screen, and they like zigzagged. Okay, they zigzag, and then uh, when he got to the corner, he posted up. Uh, he posted up on Powell and hit a nice little fadeaway jump. Okay, this was this was incredible. Uh, and at before the before the quarter was over with. Because I, this was another play, I think, where Paul George came down and scored or something, did something. Then uh, Don Mitchell hit a beyond-the-half-court shot, okay? He hit a beyond-the-half-court shot, and it was waved off. But this was another great sequence. Like I said, it was going back and forth all night uh, with these two. It was a rarely matched up uh, uh, game uh, um, by both clubs, okay? They matched up pretty good that night. Okay, so let's take a look at it. Don Mitchell got the ball. Okay, calls up Jerry Allen for a, a screen, or it could have been a pick and roll. Okay, see now roll, uh, Allen is starting to roll, so now they they close it in. Look at that, they got too many defenders over there. So he changes up the play, gets down here in the painted area when Powell comes over, pulls him a spin fadeaway jumper right here, and knocks down the shot. Okay. Like you said, it was 
right there. Boom, right there. That's the sweet spot. Jumps very high. Not the shot down. Okay, so let's take a look at that one more time in this entirety. Y'all can see how it all unfolded. Okay, this is uh, this is really skill right here. These players, they are really phenomenal uh, in these situations. Okay, so Don Mitchell comes down, calls up a, a, a high screen, okay? And it was kind of like a pick and roll, too, because he started rolling to the basket. But I think the whole initial play was for Don Mitchell because he did have power on and he was he was going to either penetrate on or or just shoot the shoot a jumper. Okay, pull up pull a pull up jump. Okay, so here we go. Yeah, that Don Mitchell come across that screen. Once he gets that across that screen, he could have pulled he could have pulled up right here. Look at all the space he got. Okay, he, it was gonna get contested too, but he just brought it down a little bit more further just to make for security purposes to get another half percent shot. Okay, he could have pulled up eight. He could have been, or he could have just tip drop floated it right over Zubac. And I think he would have it would have went in, okay. But uh, he got down in the painted area. Hurry up, spin fade, and the rest is history, okay. That was third. Now the fourth game changing moment, okay. This came within the third quarter, okay. We got one more after this. This came within the third quarter, and this was at around nine minutes and fifty eight seconds, okay. Like I said, it was a knotted up basketball game all the way up until the very end. And at this point, it was 69 to 70, I think it was. And this was the first lead, the first lead of the game, uh, lead chain, well, first lead for the uh, for the Clippers. Not for the Clippers. Hold on. Okay, okay, I think this is it right here. Okay, here we go, 64 to 67. Now, we got to go down just a little bit more further uh, because it came within 9 minutes and 58 seconds left in the third quarter. Okay, but like I said, man, um, if Kawhi Leonard was probably playing, I think it would probably would have been a different output for this ball game, man. I really do, um, because uh, you know they got too many stars. They got a lot of weapons now. They got an All Star team. The Clippers always were able to keep an All type All Star type of ball club, man. Especially with um, Blake Griffin. Okay, so this this is it right here. Like right around this mark. So, like I said, the Cavs, they uh, they was down uh, by one. The, where the Clippers, they, they, they took the lead, okay, they took the lead. They was down by one. What happened in this play was um, Cavs down by one. Uh, Paul George, uh, he scored, okay, which put them up by one point. Then Garland comes down and drives into the paint and throws up like a, a teardrop floater, okay. But it was a lob. To Mobley, and Mobley went scanning up over. I don't know who he went up over. I think it was uh, Kevin Love or a new guy, and he caught it for a nice oop dunk. And that right there um, set the tone for the rest of the night, man. Um, it was going back and forth still, but the the, the Cavs they had the upper hand on this game right here. Well, no, they didn't have the upper hand, but it set the tone, you know, for the game. Um, they was both teams was going back and forth. Um, but I'm gonna let y'all know the last game changing moment in which turned everything around uh, for the Clippers. Okay, let's take a look at this play. Okay. Okay. Okay, that was the previous play. So now y'all see it's 70 to 69. Okay. And I think it was a miscommunication right there because Paul George getting back on defense. Okay. And. He got caught up in like in a mismatch because this wasn't, I guess, I don't know who he was guarding, but uh, he just wanted to pick up Garland because you can see right here, this guy uh, is starting to, I think this Terrence man is clamping down on him, okay? So, Garland, sauce, it was like he was a miscommunication, see? <coughs> Excuse me. Ugh. Okay, so now Garland, is, he drives to the lane, okay? It was a miscommunication right there. I think in the assignments right there, and that threw Paul George off. So when Garner penetrated, got through the lane, threw that nice little oop right there, lob. It was quick and fast, like a teardrop floating. And Zubac couldn't do anything. It was too late at that point. Okay. So now we're going to quickly go to the last game changing moment because I want to hold y'all. Okay. I don't. Okay. Because I know y'all got stuff to do. It came within a minute and 48 seconds left in the game. Okay. Fourth quarter action. And uh, this right here was the icing on the cake for the game and for the Clippers, okay? Because they won the basketball game, man. 
uh, handing the Cavs their second loss of the season. The Cavs is probably one of the most hot team, hottest teams in the NBA, and it's another team too. Uh, they got almost like the same type of record. Okay, so here we get close. So in this sequence right here, okay, as y'all can see, we got Don Mitchell right there at the top of the key. Okay, uh, Terrence Mann is guarding him. He's been having a hell of a damn game all night long. Okay, so Don Mitchell has the ball, calls up a screen, um, uh, passes it to Garner. Okay, Garner has the ball. Jackson is clamping down on him. Okay, a bigger defender than Garner. Clamp down on him, kind of pressing him a little bit. And he was trying to lead pass, I guess, over to, I think that was Jerry Allen. And it was he got picked off, okay? Terrence Mann deflected it. He read the lane pretty well, uh, read the play. Clipped it off, and he went straight down to the house for a dunk. And that right there was icing on the cake, and that changed the whole dimension of the game. Okay, so let's take a look at this play real quick. Okay. Run to it, run on six. They was down, okay. The Cavs, they, they was up, and the clip was down, but this started to come back, and it changed everything. Okay, so now you see the lead pass from Don Mitchell. I think Don Mitchell have held the ball in this sequence and probably milked the clock and get a little more time. They're up by six points. Okay, Garland gets that ball, got Reggie Jackson. He immediately starts to penetrate, calls up the screen at the same time. But it could be a mover screen, too, if he on set. Okay, okay so he was waiting. He looked like he was about to drive, but he waited, called up the screen. Okay, so now it, it may be a switch off, right? He was going, he could have, he should just penetrate it. The guy read the pass. He already read the lane. He knew it was going back over there. So Terrence Mann clipped him off, deflected it. Quickly got down the court. He was doing this all night. Uh, and finished it. Okay. And that right there changed everything. And they came back and they won the game. But let's take a look at that play again, man. Because uh, that was a real miscommunication on uh, uh, Darius Garner. Okay. Uh, he clearly had, he could have penetrated in a lane. Because he was right there. He, he had a, a, a open lane after he came off that screen. Okay. So here we go. Um, Darius Garland. Gets the ball on Terrence Mann. Okay. I mean, well, that's Don Mitchell. Gets the ball on Terrence Mann. Passes it over. You got Red Jackson. You got a bigger man on you faster than him. Okay. Calls up. Wait for that, wait for that screen. Okay. After he comes around, this screen, right? He should just immediately just attack the paint. Okay. Draw the defense. You got Mobley right over there. I think that's Mobley. And I don't know who this is right here. But you got, you got a lane right here. He could have pulled up right here, or he uh, took a jump at the free throw line, or went down there. Don't be a, don't be scared to go on the paint, though. He's been doing that pretty much since Saxon was on the team when he got hurt. Okay, so I don't know why he would pull out and and you know throw the ball back to him. That was clearly a rookie mistake type of move, uh, bad turnover, and that cost them the game right there. Terrence the Mann went down to the other end, uh, finishes, and the rest is history. But yeah, that's it, man. Um, very interesting ball game from both teams. They played hell of a hell of a damn good game last night, but somebody got to lose, somebody got to win. Okay, but yeah, and as y'all know, man, we start with the losing team first. Now I gotta get y'all all the stats on this game, man. So as and always, man, we start with the losing team first. So we are gonna start with the Cleveland Cavaliers, man, on that boo boo mistake from guard. Okay, so uh, how man for the Cleveland Cavaliers, man, Don Mitchell. Uh, Presser performance that night. He logged 38 minutes and 36 seconds on that night. They got to listen to the shooting guard. Okay, makes sense. Uh, that's why they're so potent right now. He scored 30 points on that night. Hit one rebound, two assists. Okay. Uh, your boy shot 10 for 15 from the field. Okay. He finished with 66.7 for the field goal percentage. And he shot the ball. I'm talking about from three. He was shooting the ball from three. He shot eight from 11 from a three-point strike, y'all. And um, your boy has finished with 72.7% as far as the three-point percentage. Had a great game. Shout out to Don Mitchell. Don Don, what I call him. Okay. And right behind him was Mobley, okay? My main man, Evan Mobley. Rookie of the year, pre rookie of the year last year. Your boy lost 33 minutes and 41 seconds on that night. Your boy scored 26 points, had eight rebounds, one assist. He shot 12 for 18 from the field. Uh, he finished with 66.7 for the field goal percentage. 
he didn't have no three point shots. And then to wrap it up for them was Garland with 19 and 12 assists. Had a big night, Garland, but he made the last mistake. Kevin Love off the bench had 17. Okay, now let's go for the winning team, baby. The winning team, man. Clippers, baby. Clippers, baby. Okay. Uh, minus Kawhi and John Wall. Uh, they had a hell of a damn good game. Okay. How man for the Clippers, baby. My main man, PG-13, baby, on the trail. He lost 39 minutes and 41 seconds on that night. Your boy had 26 points, five rebounds, three assists. Okay. He shot 10 for 20 from the field. He had 50%. From the field goal, uh, for the field goal percentage, your boy shot 5 for 11 from the three, um, shot 45.5% from the three. That's pretty damn good, okay? Uh, Paul George is an exceptional, okay? Remember, <laughs> step it down. My main man, PG 13. Okay, and right behind him, man, um, now I think this is Monte Moore, Marquis Morris, okay? Let's see. This is Marcus Morris, okay? Senior, I'm starting to get their names right. Uh, he's been missing an action, but he's been activated. When they get their full team back, they're gonna be too damn deadly. Okay, he had he lost 37 minutes and 54 seconds on that night. He had 20.6 rebounds, one assist. Your boy shot seven for eight, uh, seven for 16 from the field. So so, okay, that was pretty good for him coming back. 43.8 percent for the field, field goal percentage, and uh. Uh, he shot a, a couple, he had a couple of threes. Well, no, he shot, shot, shot four for 11 from the threes and shot 36%. That's pretty damn good for Marcus Morris, okay? And then, uh, to wrap it up, Terrence Mann, the game of the, the, the game, the, the, uh, the game, the, the game player of the night. Terrence Mann had 16 points and Reggie Johnson had 16 and Norm Powell off the bench had 17. Okay, man, that's it, man, for the sports rundown show, man. Another great episode, man. Um, the Clippers burst the Cavs, man, uh, this was a hell of a damn good game, man. Uh, great performance from both both ball clubs, man. And, uh, yeah, be looking out for some more. Um, sports runner. We finna get up out of here, man. And it's your boy, LC The One, baby. LC The One, we ask you dig A-K-A, your magic one, two, four. And not the mother sucking game numbers, man. But my actual jersey number I wore when I was hooping in high school. And my woman jersey right here on the back of my hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Mother sucking chair. Like I was saying, you pimp it. And the boy slip. Because they will get your mother sucking ass. If you slip on that mother sucking ass, you think I'm gonna talk about me? But like I was saying, man, touch another job. We're gonna fold these shots to my LC Nation, my LC Gang Gang, my LC Crew. I need to like this video. <laughs> Share this video. Oh my god, step back. Who we gonna call? Who we gonna call? PG-13, baby. Comment on this video, man. The most importantly of all, man. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, man. Turn notifications down below. I'll get more exclusive reactions from your sports rundown guru. And like I always say, my truck down, guy, we going five, four, or three, two, one. I put the steam of wheeling back in there uh, because it makes sense. But y'all, you know, that's a commentary. You did. But like I always say, truck down, we going, man. I'm going to have y'all next sports rundown episodes. Yeah. <laughs> See y'all next sports rundown. You did me.